The S2000 is a wonderful car, but there's one critical flaw, at least for me. Uh, you can't play your own music. The S2000 does not come with an aux cord, any Bluetooth, or any way uh, to allow you to play music from your phone. So this video will be a pretty quick and simple install video. Um, hope it helps. I've actually done it once before on my old S2000, uh, so hopefully that means it'll be a little bit easier. Uh, but I'll just start by showing you exactly the tools needed. Should be a very, very simple install. Everything will be linked down in the description uh, for what you need, but it's really uh, pretty simple tools. All you need is a adjustable wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, a couple panel poppers. I think these are about eight bucks on Amazon and the actual aux kit, which again is linked in the description. I believe it's about $30. First, we're gonna take off the shift knob uh, using the adjustable wrench. Next, we'll pop off the six clips uh, for this panel and we'll actually remove it. Then we'll pop off the four clips, uh, one right here, there, and on the other two corners. We'll remove this entire door panel. Uh, then we will unscrew uh, four Phillips head screws, take out this radio control, bring it out, uh, take out the CD connector and essentially install this in its place. Begin by just removing this shift knob. It'll make it a little bit easier to get off. Uh, fairly simple, just lock it in place and then obviously uh, loosen it. All right, once you break the tension, uh, it's pretty easy. Just continue uh, to unscrew. And the first step is accomplished. <laughs> this is one of the easiest installs, I think, uh, on any car, but if you like music and you're like me, I think it makes a world world of difference to be able to play your own music. The next step is to pop uh, this entire panel off. There's six clips in total, uh, two right there. There's two right here, two about right here, and then there's some loose ones right there. This is the tool of choice. If you don't have a panel popper, you can just do it with your hands. Uh, but what you want to make sure is that you reach your hand as much as possible into the middle and then pull up near the clips, uh, just so you don't break any. Yeah, I needed two hands for that <laughs> to properly do it. But now you can see this is uh, you know completely off. You wanna make sure your e-brake is as up as possible. Uh, and then you just kind of want to you know lift this right off. Okay, now you can see it off. Um, I think it's helpful just to point out where the clips are exactly. They're right there, uh, right there, two right here, and then these two in the back, uh, barely, barely holding at all. All right, now the task at hand is to get this panel off. Uh, again, if you don't have a popper tool, you can actually just grasp this with two hands, give it a really firm pull, and it will come off. But I recommend if you do have a panel tool, um, just, you know, so you don't risk breaking any clips or anything. This one, you wanna insert it and then just basically pry it off. Uh, and there's one on this corner, this corner, that corner, and that corner. So you just wanna go ahead and pop all four out. All right, after more struggling than I'd like to admit, <laughs> um, I got this off. I actually didn't even use the pry tool too much. Uh, mostly just sort of yanked and pulled. It feels pretty uncomfortable. It feels like you're gonna break something. Although you really have to yank hard on this one. Next, uh, you're going to do the four Phillips head bolts. So you can see six. It's the bottom and the top on each side. Uh, so you're just gonna remove uh, those four Phil Phillips head screws and then this unit will come out and we'll be able to properly install the aux. All four Phillips head screws are out. Now the easy part, just sort of pulling this unit out and then we should be able to see exactly what we need to change. Looking at this kit um, and looking at these two plugs here on the back, uh, you can see a white and a blue one. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is unhinge that white plug and actually remove it and then i will replace it with this and this should allow us to just 
hit the CD button and then activate the aux cord. You just push down on that as you pull out and that'll allow you to remove it. All right, now I will go ahead and put this uh, with the clip side up back in to that slot right here. Uh, and then you're gonna wanna definitely make some space for this box uh, that will live right in the back there. All right, everything is now plugged in uh, right there to that spot. Uh, I highly suggest you wanna give it a test uh, to make sure that it actually works before you put everything back together. Uh, what you do is just turn the car on and then you will hit this CD aux and it should now, I'm gonna connect my phone, it should play uh, some music from my phone. Success, just tested, it works great. Oh, I'm so excited to actually be able uh, to play my own music. I think that's a very, very necessary thing for any car, um, this super, super simple fix. And I think it's like, what, 40 bucks in total uh, makes a world of difference. So now I'm gonna tuck this box behind here um, somewhere and then unhinge this and sort of run the wire so that it will come out right here. Okay, now while there's not loads of room back there, you can see I just stuck the little box there uh, and then it's gonna be a bit of trial and error as you sort of shimmy this back into place um, and make sure that it fits you know, properly, snugly, that that box isn't blocky in anything. A very small tip, uh, I suggest that you actually run the wires through this little hole as it'll sort of be sandwiched uh, once you put back on the radio lid. Um, so I've managed to get this into a good spot. Uh, the box is obviously behind, the plug is in, and the wires are ran right here. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is just put back those four screws and start to reassemble. All right, all of the Phillips head screws are now properly in. I'm going to go ahead and push this back in, uh, making sure that all of the clips right here um, are properly in. Uh, and then we should be good to start putting everything back together. Okay, for once, it's actually easier to put back in uh, than it is to take it out. You just wanna make sure that all of the clips, you know, give it some push, um, give it a couple, couple bangs here and just make sure that everything is back in. Um, you know, you wanna test, give it a pull, make sure all the clips are properly fastened. Uh, and now, I'm going to go ahead and put this back in uh, and just make sure that the wires are coming out, you know, neatly and everything's uh, going in correctly. All right, it's all done. The nice thing about this is once you lay it in the proper spot, uh, there's really no mistaking. All the clips are lined up. You give it a firm push here. You hear the, the clips, you know, lock in. You give it a firm push here. The clips lock in uh, and back here as well. Uh, then, yeah, I mean, we're all done. It's that simple. All I have to do right now is just go ahead and put the shift knob back on and then I can listen to some tunes and take a nice drive. All right, as you can see, everything is now properly done. I have the wires running out right there. Um, yes, maybe could make a little bit cleaner, but ultimately it's worth it uh, to have your own music. So now everything's back to original. All you do in order to actually engage the aux is you hit CD aux and you can play some tunes. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, it's a super quick, easy, simple install. I think around 45 minutes to one hour max. I'm going to be doing a lot more driving videos with this and my M4. Um, so more little modification mods just as the uh, little orange markers there I'll replace with clear. Uh, I have a little wing, uh, OEM wing that I'll put on the back and a couple other fun stuff. Uh, definitely keep uh, an eye out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Self mastery, the point focal. Letting go of their status quo, ego is critical. In order for the consciousness to reach beyond the global, comprehension beyond the vocal. Surrendering all thoughts to serve the divine principle is how we define our craft.